Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about hottest and trendiest bag that are represented in Russia in a, a shopping department, in department store uh, in Tum. And I went to there exactly for that, to check what do they have there, to talk to the shopping assistants and to, to figure out what is actually on trend in Moscow, which bags people actually buy or don't buy. Because, you know, guys, certain things are trendy or new or considered to be hot, but the fact that they are not. So I went there and uh, spoke a lot to different people and now I have a list of the bags that are actually trendy, that are actually on demand and I'm going to present all of these bags for you today in this video. And as soon as I entered Zoom, I also um, sat around stand, uh, they were represented, I'm showing you on the screen right now, uh, they were represented, uh, first of all, the dress that I've shown you in my previous video, I'm showing you here, uh, the one that I shot a week ago, uh, this one with the one shoulder, polka dot, all of that, a beautiful dress. If you're interested to listen to more details about this dress, uh, click on link here and watch that video. And then I've seen also mules that I also spoke about in my previous video guys and then i've seen this uh, trench coat of saint laurent oh my god it's stunning and it's a uh, super trendy this season so i'm sure lots of you are wondering if it's good not good well i think this trench coat is must have but i have for you um, an alternative from middle segment and i'm talking about this trench coat of hugo boss uh, this particular trench coat was uh, done in collaboration with cara Dau. cara Dau is a fashion influencer german fashion influencer who was super famous who super who was super discussed during fashion weeks so when they were on and uh, they did a cool collab I, I really like I really adore and I wanted this particular trench coat but I have another one of Burberry so that's why I didn't get but if I would buy I wouldn't actually go for Saint Laurent because for me I think it's slightly overpriced I would go for Hugo Boss so here it is so two alternatives I don't say that Saint Laurent is the same as Hugo Boss, they're different, but they give this similar vibe, you know, this kind of relaxed, chic, French chic, you know, I don't know. I like it, that's why I decided to make a stop and talk about it, besides uh, we are talking today about bags. And now let's move to the bag. So uh, here on the screen you can see shopping assistants and uh, two of them and uh, i was assisted by Eugenia. Eugenia was excellent girl she doesn't know that i'm going to uh, make a youtube video <clears throat> maybe next time when i see her i'll tell her that i'm actually shooting youtube videos so she didn't know i'm a blogger vlogger anything like that she was just super nice super sweet super helpful to me and in case you live in moscow in case you need a good shopping assistant in uh, saint laurent i have a contact for you and uh, just uh, write me in the comments below and I can share this contact with, with you guys so that you can be assisted in the best way possible. Not an ad, by, by the way. <laughs> so we started uh, seeing different bags with you. Now on the screen you can see different types of bags that I've checked out in uh, Saint Laurent stand. And uh, I started uh, uh, like uh, with different models but now let me list for you those that are more on demand that are hottest or that are classic and that i think more interesting for you guys if you were looking for your first Saint Laurent bag or for trendy Saint Laurent bag guys and the first bag i want to talk to you about is uh, the Solferino satchel in box bag <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it uh, these long names uh, in proper way so excuse me if i'm doing it wrong but i just want to say the full name of it so this particular bag that you can see on the screen i find a very good investment piece i find a very good uh, bag uh, 
to buy for summer, especially in off-white color because it will be easy to integrate in your wardrobe, easy to combine with your summer outfits. And for me, it's always an issue like to buy a bag and combine it with everything what I have because I like something exclusive usually and exclusive bags usually are difficult to combine. So that's why this time I was searching for something more basic, more plain and the bag that I can actually use on a daily basis. So this is the perfect bag for daily use. This particular bag is represented in different finishing and in different um, colors. I have a note. So guys, I've done a note to discuss colors with you. This particular bag, I'll be in certain pictures for you, is available in off-white, which I've tried on and I was actually considering for myself. If you're interested, price for this particular bag was around 220,000 rubles uh, in euros, I don't know, 2.4 thousand euros, something like that. And uh, this uh, color is actually called uh, Blank Vintage. So designer's color is blank vintage. The other color they have is black. It's a medium size, okay? And then there is opium red. Opium red is a kind of dark red, deep red, so to speak. Then there is a color dark sun, is dark orange, actually. Another one is sapphire blue. Beautiful color, but sapphire blue, I prefer... I like this uh, particular model in sapphire blue, but I prefer another model that I'm going to talk to you later about. I prefer another model in this color. It's just like, okay, let's talk about it later. And another color is navy, as you see, it's light a little bit. Another one is natural tan. I think this natural tan is universal. So if not to go to vintage white, I would go for natural tan because I think it's the piece that you can use all year long, not just in summer. And uh, once I live in Moscow, maybe I go actually not for vintage white. I'll go for this uh, natural tan because this one I, I can actually use uh, in autumn and winter and in Moscow weather is uh, mostly gray and cold and rainy all of that so I can see this color more like in Moscow. Currently I'm living mostly in Brazil so in my current reality I need something lighter, brighter and happier. The next color would be this dark green and talking about dark green guys of course all of you know that uh, green colors are super trendy, uh, super hot, uh, <laughs> everyone buys green like pumping green, uh, seagrass green, any kind of green, uh, deep green. So if you were thinking that you need some plain bag, but in trendy color, here it is in dark green color. I think it's excellent bag, excellent color, also easy to combine. Natural colors like green, blue and yellow usually easy to integrate in the wardrobe, but that's of course uh, depends on your style. And the last bag is in this uh, Eros red color. Actually, this Eros red color is a, a classic uh, red color. If you need a classic red color, here it is. Nice bag. I would always recommend to have at least one red color. In my case, I have a classic Gucci red bag. Um, I can't say it's a bag for daily use, but still I'm kind of using it a lot. Guys, and I also tried another finishing, uh, like I liked in leather finishing, but I also went for this uh, fabric finishing with leather trim. I found it very interesting. Shopping assistant told me that actually this particular model and this particular finishing is on demand and uh, many customers ca uh, come and buy this bag. So here it is the hint in Moscow people like this type of bag but for me I found it not really practical because of this white uh, canvas I know there is dry cleaning where I can bring and clean all of that but I don't want to bother myself with this process so I decided that that's not for me but since I've tried it on I decided to show it to you and um, yeah who knows maybe this uh, will be up to your taste and you go 
and buy that and uh, another bag i found uh, here now like browsing and checking what else i could suggest you which finishing there is uh, this ostrich finishing uh, ostrich leather and uh, if you don't like regular leathers and you're looking for something more exclusive and something uh, more special and um, uh, more expensive of course then there is this finishing i highly recommend you because i think uh, you will be having a very unique type of bag but yeah that's always up to you i would never go for ostrich leather because I don't know at least not in this model guys so the next model i'd like to talk to you about is this le carre model that i'm trying currently on the screen i spoke to you that i liked another bag in a sapphire leather in sapphire color so this is this pumping blue color and i like exactly in this model in le carre because it suits me it suits my personality it suits my type my appearance at least i think so of course this particular bag doesn't fit in this outfit that i went uh, that i used to during my visit to tomb but imagine sneakers jeans simple t-shirt very legs casual face and hair and then i take this bag in this sapphire blue color Ta -da! I think it will look very fresh, very spring, summer like, very relaxed and still stylish and girlish and uh, very cool. It exists in 12 different colors, so if you don't like this particular color, no worries, so there are different colors. But guys, I need to talk about disadvantage of this uh, particular bag. This particular bag looks very similar to Celine Box. And if you were before a fan of uh, Celine and you had Celine Box, of course you wouldn't be interested about like a hair model because it's kind of... Okay, I would not say it's a copy, it's not my genuine opinion but there are people <laughs> who think that um, Le Carre is a copy of uh, Celine Box. Fair enough, they can have this opinion. I would say there are some similarities. Okay, let's put here Le Carre and Celine Box over here. So write me in the comments below, what do you think? Is it a copy or is it just a similar type of bag? Let's talk, <laughs> let's discuss the subject that's very interesting for me. So guys, um, it's kind of disadvantage, but there is a, also an advantage about it. Look, if you always wanted to have Celine Box, but you consider to be Celine Box very expensive, because Celine Box was in Zoom something like 440,000 troubles. Le Carré costs uh, 220,000 troubles, so half of it, a half, you know? it's better it's already easier so if you before about uh, crying and dying and thinking like oh i need to have this Celine box but you couldn't afford it now you can buy something very similar and uh, be happy enjoy and use aware and uh, be the happiest girl on earth during this summer and i actually liked it doesn't disturb me that it's very similar to Celine box not my problem i liked it I liked the size, all of it, and I checked that Celine box is actually slightly bigger, not exactly the same size, and I don't think I want bigger bag of this type, I think it's just right for me, but it's all very personal, so I suggest you to go and check it out in your store, where you live, I don't know, maybe in Brazil, maybe in Argentina, maybe you live in Europe, I don't know, I think it's better to go and check it out in person. That's it about this bag, and I also wanted to show you Celine box uh, back in uh, different outfits. I'm here in certain pictures. There is a fashion blogger, Russian fashion blogger, who posted previously lots of photos with this bag. So here they are. Okay, guys, so the next uh, model I've checked in Celeron was Nikki in sweat leather. I actually wanted a lot any kind of bag in a sweat leather, especially in a cinnamon color, because I think this is <sighs> breathtaking if you know what I mean. There are some colors that are actually kind of steering hot strings and you are like, oh my God. So this is type of bag that I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I really liked it. And I was about kind of maybe get it, maybe not. But then we spoke for a while with the shopping assistant and uh, I actually realized that it might be the same destiny that happened to 
GG Mamont that I have in like Gucci. I'm sure you know which model is it. I'm talking about this uh, pink uh, GG Mamont bag. So everything was fine with that bag. I was using it a lot, but I was putting it in the luggage. So to make long story short, uh, that uh, bag became very flat. So it lost shape. And now I'm very concerned to what if another bag that I buy and invest in will become flat. So when I was trying on this bag, uh, Eugenia kindly, honestly told me that uh, that destiny can, can happen. So this particular Nikki bag can become flat. But there is a solution. If you like this model, but you want it to be resistant, uh, there is a finishing called crinkled vintage skin, then <laughs> your back will be fearless. Doesn't matter whether it will be cold or it will be snowing, raining, whatever. <laughs> Nothing will happen. And if you take in middle size or like small size, it will be uh, more constructed and uh, more unlikely it will lose shape. Also depends how do you use, how do you store, how do you transport. I'm not super careful person. I'm careful enough, but not very careful. Not uh, careful enough for uh, Nikki in sweat leather. So in the end, um, my opinion about this model, nice one, convenient, practical, since it has lots of pockets and uh, trendy, since it's kind of big and fluffy, but questionable questionable and uh, also about how to use this particular bag you can use it crossbody or you can use it doubled for shoulder carry and it's also very comfortable as you see i was using exactly this way nice one but i'll think about it also i found this bag in another finishing that i'm showing you on the screen in um, uh, crocodile embossed leather you can see it's a deep green, you know, very cool color that you can use uh, all year long. And uh, green is on trend, so... But the only thing that crocodile leather costs uh, arm and a leg, but... Anyway, my task is to show you, share my opinion, suggest you, because my channel is about uh, <laughs> fashion and uh, I'm not uh, the blogger who is sponsored or who, who receives anything for... Uh, I add, I give my opinion and I created this channel to share my opinion. So here it is my opinion about this particular bag. Guys, and in the end I've checked this uh, classic black bag that I've sported on Instagram of Tamara. I'll insert uh, her reels where I've seen that. Uh, cool bag. Um, I think for my body I can use it crossbody only um, because otherwise it's kind of too long and doubled for shoulder carry uh, this particular model was kind of uh, yeah so 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 uh, i consider this model for myself only in the way of uh, crossbody carry but i'm not sure i want it so i tried it on i kind of checked it out uh, i'll think about it a little bit more i'm not sure i think it's cool bag but maybe not for me i don't know maybe for you. <laughs> um, and, and other things I've checked there, I'd like to talk to you very, very fast about uh, accessories. So first of all, guys, can you see? <laughs> so guys, I've bought a ring there, the ring. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, last uh, spring summer collection 21. I really loved it, I fell in love and I got it. And um, I think rings uh, in Saint Laurent are really, really cool. And I've checked also those uh, clips that I've spoken about in my previous video. And uh, I must tell you that, yeah, they looked cool. But when I tried them on, I realized I can easily lose them somewhere on the way to the theater and, on, I don't know, to the beach, doesn't matter. So they are not really... Um, you can't really fix them because it's clips, you know, like any clips, you can lose it. So, um, shopping assistant also spoke to me that um, it's not really practical, but it's always up to you whether or not you are ready to go for clips. Maybe you cannot use a regular earring and clips is the only option for you. So here on the screen, you can see different clips that they were there at that moment. And uh, I liked uh, these classic uh, clips. Very nice ones, why not? Uh, but I, I didn't uh, feel like getting one for me. 
and I checked also this bracelet, uh, which is of collection Autumn uh, Winter 2021, so the previous one, and uh, yeah, cute one, but I decided like uh, too much nautical, and uh, yeah, I I don't I'm not sure I, I wanted a bracelet like that. I prefer something more classic and elegant. So if you're in Moscow, there is the bracelet. You can go and check it out. Guys, by the way, I have today another look. How do you like it? How do you like my hair like that? I found it super fresh, super romantic and kind of uh, um, on trend because many influencers make uh, some baby hair. I did in my way. It looks slightly different, but I don't know. I found it very unusual. I have even put today interesting new earrings so what do you think about new look write me in the comments below and uh, talking about bags so guys after Saint Laurent I went to check out uh, Valentino so as you can see on the screen there are lots of nice bags I was checking them out I was actually interested in a Roman start bag because particularly this model was sent to uh, top influencers like Leone and uh, Tamara I'm inserting here pictures and videos of uh, them representing those bags so um, this Roman start is super trendy now because they were advertised heavily of course other people went and bought it but I don't actually think uh, I wouldn't like who am I in compared to other big influencers but my personal opinion if you ask me I wouldn't go for a Roman start I wouldn't buy it for me instead I've seen the, this Super V, it's called Super V bag uh, in a brown color in small size because I think it's uh, more functional, it will suit to kind of every outfit, it would not look like upgraded model of the starter that was before because I have Valentina start bag, I'll insert picture here from my Instagram and uh, like I have start bag, I use it and I love it and all cool, all fine but Roman start feels to me like bigger stats <laughs> basically maybe i'm wrong it, it feels like you know they took uh, uh stats that were before and then they took peekaboo fancy peekaboo and then they joined and became a baby <laughs> that is actually a roman stat so i might be totally wrong okay i i don't insist on it but uh it's my feeling that uh, they were papa and mama <laughs> went together and there is a baby of roman stat um are you agree with me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And um, talking about Super V that I'm showing you on the screen, I think it's a very interesting model. If uh, to buy something in uh, Valentina, I would go for that one. I didn't uh, talk to a shopping assistant there. I haven't found <laughs> a shopping assistant. And uh, I waited for a while. I looked around, nobody came to me. Okay, I shot a little bit for you, some content, uh, how it looks like. I uh, didn't receive any consultation, so if uh, a shopping assistant of Zoom watching me, like, please <laughs> be there around next time, because, like, it's not serious. Uh, okay, then, after that, I went, uh, I passed by Dior, where was my friend, Dia, doing a huge uh, shopping of makeup. I did also some shopping, I bought uh, some mascara, but, okay, this video about bags. Guys, let's not lose focus, because, uh, I'm like that. I can lose focus easily and start talking about random things for hours. After Valentina, I went to Michael Kors. Again, I checked out uh, all the influencers, all their posts, and I've seen that, again, the same Leone and Tamara, I'll insert videos here. We were posting a lot of um, Michael Kors, and particularly this model, Baguette. I even wrote, I have like a news uh, channel, Telegram channel, where I'm writing uh, fashion news. It's in Russian, so I wouldn't uh, leave any link for you to subscribe. I don't see any sense of it. But anyway, I was writing also about it. Um, I find this particular bag, this uh, uh, Michael Kors baguette, very good model, very functional, very trendy one. Looks very similar to baguette, like fancy baguette, uh, but with a different price range, okay? And um, I've seen those models that fashion influencers were advertising. And I went to check, how is the quality? Are they the same, not the same? So now you can see on the screen me trying on this uh, white Michael Kors baguette. 
don't buy it okay don't <laughs> if you were thinking and you have put in your wish list and you were thinking to buy don't buy because um in white my okay this is my personal opinion i'm nobody to tell you what to buy not to buy i'm like a random girl from internet but um if you ask for advice i would suggest not to buy because the quality was bad i did okay not bad but not good enough to buy <laughs> don't know how even to express it my gosh so i wouldn't advise to buy i didn't like the execution if to go for michael kors baguette i would go better for this one that i'm showing you in canvas a kind of dark color because that didn't look cheap you know because when you look at the bag close up sometimes it's uh, better than on the picture or the same and sometimes it looks worse so when i checked uh checked out that white baguette it looked uh, kind of the one that i see here in russia in the open market i don't know i'm sorry it's like that and when i checked out that one uh in um, canvas that was pretty good if i would need one baguette for myself i would easily go for that one in canvas i actually have one uh that is now in the other flat so i cannot show you i have in black and i'm using it uh, a little bit different uh, model i've bought kind of i think five years ago still using it so i'm for michael kors i love the brand and i have jackets i have outfits uh, like complete total outfits of michael kors i like it I have bag of Michael Kors bags actually and I like them but uh, white baguette is bad and um, about other colors well I haven't seen them they didn't have in soon they had just white and uh, canvas who knows how are they looking like um, that's it so this is my advice uh, be kind of don't don't buy online go check it uh, in person so I'm not I'm not really happy with this type of bag guys and then I went to Loewe I briefly passed by because I actually didn't feel like checking many bags in Loewe but as you can see on the stand they had lots of puzzled bags let me check where's my mic okay uh, as you can see on the screen they had like a huge exhibition of uh, Loewe puzzled bags they had in uh, small and uh, in medium sizes they had in plain colors they had in B colors and they had in three colors I can tell you that I'm a big fan of uh, Loewe brand, um, I think I'm not, but since it's uh, trendy, particularly this model, I decided to check it out. Uh, what I can tell you, depends on the handle, on the top handle, the price will vary. Uh, this uh, model with this kind of, I don't know how to explain, with more complicated top handle costs more and uh, with a regular top handle logically it costs less and um, when you have more colors or like uh, latest models so they again cost more they also had uh, this baby this white baby in um, exotic leather uh, I don't remember the exact price but that was expensive but very unique and special and um, for summer small white bag I think always suits. I know that, for example, in Russia, this model is not really trendy. And um, in Brazil, I've seen it in Sao Paulo. And uh, like there is an area there, okay? Not all the Brazil, but there is in Sao Paulo, uh, like a Sadova Calzo in Russia, there is an area called Jadins. And over there, I've seen lots of people using this Loewe puzzle bag in different colors usually actually in brown but like a lot a lot a lot like every third girl dressed nicely she was using blue a puzzle bag so i haven't seen that in uh, the capital because i live in the capital there no one used they usually go for jacquemus or something like that or chanel but never for ever but in sao paulo they like it and in moscow they don't like it and in europe i know that in europe uh, this particular model is super hot so depends where do you live depends what your taste is uh, you may like or not like this bag mm, 
Nice one. If I would suggest you a color, I would suggest you this olive one that you can see on the screen. I'll make a stop uh, on the video so that you can see. And I liked another one, um, a three color bag with this yellow, muted yellow and uh, gray, different gray, like darker gray and lighter gray. I think it's stunning. I think, again, it's easy to integrate in your wardrobe. If you have very basic outfits like all white or grays, like monochrome looks, and you wanted something to give some spice but not too bright like red or you don't like pinkish and you wanted something you don't know what maybe this tricolored bag is the model i'll insert picture here so that you can see it better well that's it about loewe loewe i'm sorry and um i didn't check out other bags there are other bags like beach bag i insert also here guys and in the end let's say for dessert i went to check out bottega veneta brand well, who didn't hear about the model The Point? The Point is all over the internet. We all know that this is the hottest bag, the most requested, most photographed, most published one, but I wanted to check it out and I wanted to see if the quality is there, if the price is uh, fair and um, here it is, trying on this particular bag in seagrass color. Seagrass is the hottest color, if you ask me. And uh, the triangle handle is a subtle reference to the house's code. So all was there, all was <laughs> color and the handle, everything. And I especially liked this intricately kilted um, finishing so i was choosing between the calf skin and the, uh, this finishing special one intricately kilted one i loved both of them the only thing that uh, if you go for the leather version first of all the price is better it's like 220,000 travels and uh, if you go for intricately kilted one um, inside you don't have leather inside you have um, a very strange fabric i actually kind of Polyester. I'm not sure. I didn't like it at all. And another thing, it costed uh, 100,000 rubles more. I would say it's a huge difference in price. I'm not sure it's fair. Though, the bag is nice. Here I am trying it on, uh, showing it for you. And uh, this is up to you to decide. I also checked this uh, special finishing in uh, kind of dark brown color i didn't like it at all i think if to get this model then it must be some happy color like seagrass and uh, yeah i've decided that for myself it's this color but guys uh, i'm here checking out <laughs> another <laughs> another finishing and i think this is stunning i think now i'm like kind of not sure i'm hesitating and saw picture here for you to see it better uh now maybe i uh like uh, this uh finishing better it's from runway and uh, yeah the color is called parakeet very interesting and the finishing i made a note a note here uh, it's called a crocheted leather. So I've made the research. It's called crocheted leather. I hope I pronounced it right. Now I don't know what is better, seagrass or parakeet. Let me know. Actually, guys, here I'll insert picture of um, seagrass and here I'll insert picture of parakeet. And uh, write me in the comments below which one do you prefer, seagrass, uh, parakeet, uh, which finishing do you prefer? Do you like actually the model, the point? What do you think about it? Is it worth it? Guys, and uh, I was watching reviews on YouTube about this uh, particular bag, the point. And uh, I, I was said there, like many reviews, they were everybody saying that these uh, long strap the shoulder strap is not removable and like you kind of have this long strap and it's not cool and then like those who bought they said that they were suffering with it actually guys so this long shoulder strap is removable you can remove it and use it as a clutch just with a, a triangular handle or like a clutch uh, below your how is it under your shoulder so the same way as we were all using the pouch just look at this picture i'm sure you've seen the pouch or you have one or maybe four of them depends so i think it's an excellent model you can remove this strap many people complained they didn't like quality of the strap for me it's fine 
don't see any problem. <laughs> I'm only seeing one problem for myself that now I don't know which finishing I actually want and which color I actually want because both of them are trendy, both of them are cool and uh, yeah it's up to me to decide. Maybe you can help me with your comments and uh, we can discuss it a little bit and that's it. Uh, the other model if you don't like uh, the point there is another model called shell and insert picture here. I received um, catalog from Bottega Veneta and I was checking this uh, shell model and I'll insert pictures with this uh, shell model on the screen in uh, total looks and outfits so that you can have an idea. I think shell model is really cool. I didn't ch check it out for myself, I didn't touch it in person, uh, like I didn't see it in person, I didn't touch it and um, I cannot say you what did I feel about it but when I received catalog, when I checked it out there I found it very interesting. I think uh, this model suits perfectly well for summer. It looks in fact like a shell and immediately I start thinking about beach, about swimming, about vacation and when I saw this uh, bag I thought like oh when I go on vacation I'll take it with me, I'll pack it with me, I'll use it with all my summer dresses. So I think the shell is um, worthy of our attention of your attention guys and um, yeah also interesting model i wouldn't say it's as hot as uh, the point but i think it's still a cool one that's it guys that's it <laughs> i finished <laughs> over i'm sure this video became way too long longer than i expected but you know guys i like so much talking to you i like so much uh telling you my opinions my uh thoughts uh, information that i collect because i'm into the subject i'm writing about it i'm uh, uh, reading about it i'm watching about it it's a big part of my life Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell, uh, put like, no dislike, only like, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye guys!